Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, one and all. Today I'm going to show you B Haptics users and lovers how to be able to feel playing Gorilla Tag through a brand new B Haptics mod. So let's get started. Now, firstly, I want to show you how the mod works, what it can and what it does not do, so that way there is no confusion about what you're able to feel while playing Gorilla Tag. Currently, this mod does have support for the vest and the arms, but they do not have any support for the feet or the face piece. As far as the vests go, it is able to support the X40 and X16 models. However, in order to use the vest in this game, it is currently only available to use through a PC and cannot be used on standalone quest. The first type of feedback that you receive is the feedback that you get while moving inside the game. Now inside Gorilla Tag you move a little bit differently than you do with other games of course. You use your arms to be able to propel yourself. While using your arms with this B-Haptics mod it sends pulses through your arms and then continues that pulse up through your arm into the top part of your chest but it only affects the side of your chest that you're using the arm to move with. Therefore, if you're only using your left arm, it's only going to affect the top left part of your chest. If you're only using your right arm, it's only going to affect the upper right part of your chest. And then of course, you can also use both arms when doing things like pinch climbing, and it will give you feedback throughout your whole suit. The way it feels inside of the game whenever it's sending you these pulses, it tries to simulate in your brain what it would be like if you were just punching the ground really, really hard to try to propel yourself, which is exactly what you're pretty much doing in Gorilla Tag. The second type of feedback you receive is something called infection feedback. Now this is the type of feedback that you receive whenever you turn into the blue monkey that is able to be able to slow other people down inside the hunt game mode, or whenever you turn into a lava monkey inside the infection game mode. The B-Haptics equipment tries to simulate what it would feel like if your skin is morphing and changing right in front of your very eyes. The first idea that came to mind with being able to explain how it feels whenever your skin is morphing and changing and flipping in a sense is those pillows that you wave your hand across it and it changes from one image into another it sort of feels like there's a wave washing over you changing you from one person into another to be able to download this amazing custom mod go ahead and download melon loader in the description put it on your computer double click to start it go ahead and browse for your game folder for me I have it inside Steam so in order to get there you'd go to the Steam Steam apps Go over to common, find gorilla tag, and then you just click on the gorilla tag.exe and click open over the bottom right. And then click install, and it will automatically create two folders for you inside the gorilla tag folder in your computer. Next, all you need to do is download the actual Gorilla Tag B Haptics mod and also have the Gorilla Tag folder open on your computer where your game is stored. Click Extract All, and it will create a folder and a .dll file. Go and open it up, and you'll see both of them right in there. Just take both of the files and shove them right into the mods folder right there, and really that's it. That's all you need to be able to do to be able to feel Gorilla Tag inside VR. Now, once the game starts up, you will feel a heartbeat go on the top left side of your chest in order to indicate that the mod is working, and that's it. Now, with the way that the haptic feedback works, it sets off vibrations on your vest in different intensities and frequencies depending on what you're supposed to feel inside of the game. Because you cannot actually see your physical body once you're fully immersed in the virtual reality, it tries to give you feedback to trick your brain into thinking that it's real. So, for example, you're getting shot and onward. You're not going to actually have a bruise or a bullet hole or anything of that, of course, but while you're fully immersed in the game, it does try to trick your brain into thinking thinking that you're feeling pain even though you're not, fully immersing you inside the game. I will also place my full review of the B-Haptics vest in the description of the video so that way you guys can see if this vest is worth buying for you. Our community does like to do frequent giveaways for tech like this haptics vest, so stay tuned in the Discord to see if maybe you can win our next haptics vest giveaway. Lastly, I did want to be able to credit Florian, the man who created this amazing mod for this game as well as many other B-Haptics mods, and I did want to credit Alex and Skiva from between between realities for getting me into this amazing B Haptics technology. I try to use the B Haptics technology in every VR aspect that I can get my hands on, so I hope to see you in the other YouTube videos, I hope to see you in the Twitch live streams, but most of all, I hope to see you having a fan freaking tastic day, and I'll see you next time.